Okay, so we're moving on to tailgate table installation. This is a Ford factory tailgate that we bought off from a young man that took it off of his. So step one is to get this plastic piece off. This pops up from the bottom and this comes down. These have little lips. These just have snap clips. Ford draws us pictures. They don't think we're smart enough to read. It does say remove the trim panel. Okay, we did that. Okay, so this one we bought off from a young man, so we don't have, we have the Ford directions, but they're not good for much. So we're going to be figuring this out as we go, and I may say a few bad words just for fun of it. So in the hardware kit are these little plastic things that, that uh, you can do it without dropping them. They go on that like that. go all right so that goes like that and these tabs you're not going to put that trim piece back on all right these tabs go like that and like that and this sits like that okay so the other two pieces of this stuff they go down here on this bottom Put one of these on each side on, the, on those two longer slots. We'll show. Okay, so this goes on here. So this frame rests on this uh, Bronco piece. All right, and you'll see these little holes right here will line up. Right, what cable here it goes. It goes in these slots here. Okay, like so. Okay, we'll probably take these back out in a minute, but we're going to put these screws in here just to get this piece the way it should be. So, the critical part. Don't do this right, you screw up your tailgate. make a mark where we have to drill at. Okay, so for all of those of you young folks that have never seen one of these, this is an actual drill that plugs into your house. The bit that comes with this is a 7 16 bit. And it is too big for your standard 3 8 drill. So that's a half inch hammer drill. This is a center punch. You wanna come here for a second, wife? Some back support there a little bit. But we're gonna center punch. Don't put your head down there, it's gonna hurt. reason we do this is to get the drill bit to center up where we want it and not walk all around on this slick paint. Okay, keep your fingers out of the way. Okay, so this is where we do irrevocable, 
re irrevocable harm to our, stay back here. I'm gonna be pushing on this a little bit. To our door. I don't know if you guys can see this, this little ring right here is a, is a stop to keep you from shoving your drill bit all the way through and coming out the other side. Make sure you have that, all right? And then hopefully that goes in there. We may have to water that hole out just a bit. I should point out we got these at Napa. There was no uh, salvaging these pieces, so we had to go buy new. I don't know. Up paint. All right, we have now irre irrevocably damaged our Bronco. No fixing that, but buying a new tailgate. I'm putting that one in there because that just makes that stand still like it should. And we'll go from there on this other stuff. this goes in, it scrunches this up and pins it to the back, right, as you tighten that up. I wouldn't have any way to do that where you can see it. So once they're in there, they're in there. They won't come out. You'd have to cut them out. But uh, anyway, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera's focusing on that or if I'll have to just cut this part out. But, but as, this, as this pins through, Right, it squishes this piece up against the back side of your sheet metal. So you want to be a little bit careful with these when you're using them to not uh, not put crazy torque. Don't use an impact on it. Just use a hand tool. Uh, it'll work out a lot better for you in the end, I think. And we're going to back these off a little bit so we got some wiggle room now that we got the top two in. Hey, one to go. Okay, we're going to give this the same treatment. We're going to pull that nut down a little bit before we try to really put this together.
you guys will notice this piece is free, right? This this piece loops together kind of like so. The reason is that's what's going to allow us to get our table in there. I suppose at this point we need to put the rest of this together. Okay, so if you're wondering, these little nuts that go right back here, there's a little screw and a little nut. These are 11 30 seconds or I don't know, whatever metric is, probably about a, probably a nine. Eight was too small and 10 was too big, so I assume a nine. But 11 30 seconds worked really well for it. Okay, we ought to be about ready to put the table on. See if it's gonna work. Well, the whole reason this stays loose is just so you can do that right there. And thingies on. Mistake, you'll also be able to kind of see how this all goes together because this is this is kind of the key point all right this uh get this back back out of there so i can put the little rubber cushion in it As you can see, without that one screw in, the whole thing falls apart. Okay. Let's see how 